TCU had a bit of a down season in 2023-2024. After making the college football playoff and going all the way to the national championship game just a season ago, TCU lost a ton of talent to the NFL draft and ultimately ended up finishing below 500 and didn't even qualify for a bowl game. Despite this, TCU has a couple of intriguing draft prospects. One of the guys that people are a pretty big fan of is cornerback Josh Newton, a guy who played well in each of the last two seasons, but how high does he ultimately end up getting selected in the 2024 NFL Draft? That is what we will be going over in today's video. But hey guys, if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment and let me know which players you guys want to see a video on next, and without further ado, let's get into it. Newton had a really solid season in 2022. In 517 coverage snaps, Newton allowed 24 receptions for 307 yards and 5 touchdowns on the year. Those numbers aren't too bad when you also factor in that he had 3 interceptions and 12 pass deflections. His 2023 season wasn't as productive. In 413 coverage snaps, Newton allowed 25 receptions for 303 yards and 1 touchdown. He did have an interception and 7 pass deflections on the year for the Horned Frogs, but he is a guy who has started to slip a little bit in the cornerback class, but still think he's a solid player. Newton has pretty solid speed on the outside. He does a really nice job of matching up with wide receivers on the outside, and it is especially apparent in press man coverage. He does a really nice job in press man, and he has a really nice initial punch. He moves his feet, and he has really fluid hips and great change of direction. He is quick and an excellent mover for the cornerback position, which is something that I really like. Despite not having the most incredible season in the world, Newton has really solid ball skills. He reacts super quickly with the ball in the air, and he makes a play on the ball. He has great change of direction, and he has great instincts in both man and zone coverage. He reacts quickly, and he has fantastic closing speed. Overall, he has some really nice coverage abilities. His zone coverage, I would say, is better than his man coverage abilities. He moves really well in zone, he reads the quarterback's eyes, and, well, we talked about it, he reacts quickly to the football. He closes quickly, wraps up, or will make a play on the football, and that's how he has 19 pass deflections over the last two seasons. He also has decent size. I don't want to say his size is excellent, but he is 6 foot, 195 pounds. He has good length. He has solid height, and overall he has some pretty decent size at the cornerback position. Newton is an aggressive corner, and sometimes it comes back to bite him. You can see it in coverage from time to time. He has the tendency to bite on double moves, which will lead to a big play over the top. That can allow touchdowns or even other things can happen, so you don't. he does bite sometimes. That is an area I think could improve. Another area where I think his aggression can come back to bite him is that he does have the tendency to get a little grabby from time to time. I'd like to see him tone back his aggression, maybe not be as handsy with the receivers, because some of these plays I do think he would get penalized for in the NFL. So if he could tone back his aggression just a little bit, I think he would be okay. The other area of Newton's game that does concern me is I don't think he is the strongest player in the world. He is a pretty slim player on the outside, and it really shows. He looks small due to his smaller frame. I think he may be best utilized as a slot guy at the next level. I would like to see him improve his play strength, learn to shed blocks a little bit better, and wrap up a little bit more physically, and add a few more pounds. I think that would really change his game. Other than this, Newton is still a very fun prospect. He's a guy I'm personally not as high on as others are, but I can definitely see him making a solid impact at the next level. He is my cornerback 14. I like this cornerback class more than most do. I think he falls down the board just a little bit due to his slim frame and aggression can be a bit of a problem for him. He is my number 73 overall player in the class. Newton I think is a very versatile cornerback. I mentioned how I think he could play in the slot. And he's great in man coverage and especially in press man. I could see a world where a team uses him as a nickel and slot corner, but I could also see him playing on the outside. He has played outside in the Big 12, and he's been really successful, but I think if he plays on the outside, he would fit best in a primarily zone coverage scheme. 
he has some quick reactions, and overall he shows a lot of upside in zone coverage. But I think Newton is a guy that could fit in really any defense in the NFL, and you could find a really nice home for him. My comparison for Josh Newton is Cincinnati Bengals cornerback Cam Taylor Britt. Britt is a guy who has a very similar frame to Newton, but has excellent ball skills. On top of that, he's shown some versatility over the last couple of seasons to play in both the slot as well as the outside. Britt has quickly become one of the top coverage guys in all of football, and before his injuries, was even getting some all-pro consideration. I don't know if Newton is going to be a future all-pro, but in terms of play style, I do see quite a few similarities between Josh Newton and Cam Taylor Britt. Newton's great in coverage, he's got good ball skills, so that's going to be my comparison for him. Newton is a very nice cornerback prospect. He has good length, he is good in both man and zone coverage, and he has some nice tools that I think he can bring to a team. Overall, I think he could be a solid player at the NFL level, and I believe Josh Newton will be a third round pick in the 2024 NFL Draft.